Hey folks, Pete here with a special announcement. Before we get started on today's video, which is about the Reflector 3 app, which allows you to mirror your iPad or iPhone to your Mac or PC, the good folks over at Squirrels have given me a code for 30% off the purchase price of this app. But it's only available till the 1st of November and only for the first 100 people. So if you just use this code here, Studio Live Today, all one word, all caps, at checkout, you'll get 30% off. There's also a seven day free trial, so you can try before you buy, but it is only the first 100 and it is only till the 1st of November. Now, let's get on with the show. If you're looking for a quick and simple way to send your iPad or iPhone screen to your Mac or your PC, in this video, I'm gonna show you the very cool Reflector 3 app, which can help you do just that. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, being able to send your iPad or your iPhone screen to especially your PC, but even your Mac is very cool. And there's a bunch of different uses in education, in tutorials, and even in just getting some help with some things that this can be used for. So for me, I use it for sharing my GarageBand tutorials here on the channel, as well as a bunch of other purposes in live streams and in pre-recorded videos too. So let's dive in and I'll show you what Reflector is all about and how to use it. So Reflector 3 is an app available for Mac, PC, or a universal app available for both. And there's even an educational version. All the details are over on the Squirrels page where you can check out all the Reflector range. There's a seven day free trial there, as well as a way to actually buy the app. And it's a one-off purchase, no subscription models here. Now to use it, you download and install the app. You can see in the bottom right hand corner here, I've got it installed and I've connected my iPad called Airhead 3 and that is being connected here. Now if we uh, do the little switch thing in the top right corner you can see there that we've just used the screen mirroring. So if you haven't used this before you swipe from the top right hand corner on your iPad or iPhone or from the bottom on some older model iPhones and then you tap on this button here which is your screen mirroring. You can see here I'm mirroring to Desky which is the same name as we have here that we've set up in Reflector 3 and it is really as simple as that that we now have our screen reflected right here. We can show apps with audio. There's even recording functions. There's a whole lot here under the hood. So let's jump in and take a look at just some of the settings and the cool functionality we have here in Reflector. All of your important settings within Reflector are in your settings option down here in the bottom right. So if we click that one and click on preferences, this is going to bring us into our preferences and our options here. So starting with the general preferences, I set the broadcast name to be my system name. So I have that one ticked. If you want to change that, you just untick it and put whatever name you like in there. And that is the name that you'll see here when you connect. So this one here that says Desky, that's the one that we've got here. So you can take your choice of what you use there. The show client name, I've got it on hover, which means if I hover over my client like this, it's going to say Airhead 3. That's the name of my iPad that I'm connected to. And if you have multiple things connected, this can be very handy. And yes, you can connect multiple devices up at once. Always on top. With this one selected, it means that if we open up any other windows, so say we come over here and we grab a browser window and put that in behind, you can see here, this is going to remain on top. With that unselected, it will bring it in front. So depending what behavior you want, you can select that. And on startup, showing our quick connect window is a way to connect with one of uh, the other apps called Air Parrot. I don't tend to use that one because I don't use Air Parrot, so I turn that one off but if you are using that you can turn it on and use it the next one is super important and this is our connection settings so the airplay resolution is one that you will want to make sure you play with you'll notice here that i'm displaying this at 720p that's because i'm using my older pc here i'm recording the screen at the same time using Streamyard as i'm actually doing this demonstration so that's why you might see the resolution is not perfect there and uh but you're seeing here that we do get a decent sort of frame rate and this is the thing i wanted you to be aware of is that if you're demonstrating something Thing, depending what's more important to you. So whether the frame rate or the clarity is more important will depend on what you actually choose there. For most of my demonstrations, I just need folks to be able to see what I'm clicking on at where, and that's why using 720p works well for me. If you want to start scaling that up, you can go up to 1080p all the way up to 4k. But what's going to happen is that you might find there's more lag or delay time between when you move things and what actually shows on your screen here, or you may find that your frame 
frame rate decreases, so you start getting a bit of stuttering. That will completely depend on the video that you're using, the video card, and the processing power of the computer that you're using. So the more modern, faster computer is going to be able to show this better. So if you experiment with your AirPlay resolution, that is going to help you get the best balance of image quality and stability. In a similar way is our default scale. So you can use the default size, you can make it fill the screen, or use the best for high DPI, which is dots per inch. So play around with those to see which one works the best for you. The next option we have here is AirPlay security. So I put none on here, but if you're on a shared network, you may want to use a password or an on-screen code, and that will just make sure that you've got the right people connecting to the right things. If you're using this for educational purposes, you know what I mean. You don't want any students connecting and showing their screens instead of yours. Uh, on connection here, connect and show device. Again, you can leave it hidden or you can prompt to approve. I like to just have my device pop straight up when I connect, so I use that one. And the frame here, I'll just show you this one because you'll notice there, I've got my iPad frame, so you can see that I'm using an iPad there. And it does intelligently change that, so you can see it's got an iPad Pro frame there to match my iPad Pro. Uh, if we turn this to none and hit apply, it doesn't change. That's because we need to restart. So I'll hit OK on this one. Let me disconnect. So again, we'll slide from the top right. We'll tap this one off to disconnect, hit stop mirroring, and then we'll re-mirror, and I'll show you what that looks like. And here it is, we've popped back up here, and you'll notice that this time, uh, yes, and it, said, it says there, I skipped that one, but it said it uses AirPlay, so you can get the audio over AirPlay too, which is super handy. But now you'll notice that we don't have a frame. We just have a nice square window there, or a nice four by three window, whatever the native resolution is, and uh, that is gonna show us here. So if you don't want the frame on there, and you just want something like this, which I think works and looks good for a lot of purposes as well, then that can work well as well. So if you don't want the frame on there, turn the frame off in the options. Next up, we have recording. So yes, we can actually record directly into the Reflector app. Now, I usually stream things or record using OBS, so I use other methods, but it's very cool that you've got the ability to do some recording right here, and you've got some settings in there to look at the recording quality, the FPS, which stands for frames per second, and the recording mode. And once again, just balance these out. Do a little bit of experimenting. If you've got a really modern, really fast computer, you should be able to use 30 frames or even up to 60 frames per second and then record that at high recording quality. If you're starting to find that you're getting lower frame rate or some jerkiness, then drop that down to a balanced level that's going to work for you and your computer. Next up is the network that you're using. Now, I've only got Ethernet on this computer, but if you had multiple networks, if you had Wi-Fi, you want to make sure that they're all on the same network. That's the important thing that I probably should have said right at the start. This uses your own network or your own Wi-Fi to actually send the, or to send the video and the audio. So the other thing, as well as your computer's processing power that is important with this, is the speed and the proximity of your network. So if you're having those sort of issues, reducing the things that you're using on your network, Network. So closing down apps and turning off devices may actually help and improve the quality of your streaming going through Reflector. And finally, the advanced settings here now. I suggest leaving these alone unless you really need to, but there's some cool things you can do in here, including YouTube account integration. So yeah, not only can you record, but you can stream directly to YouTube. I don't use that again because I do these sort of streams instead, but it's a cool option to have. And you can see here, you can enable or dis disable AirPlay, Google Cast, and Miracast. So again, it does not just for iPad and iOS and iPhones. You can actually use this with Google Google Cast and Miracast as well. So there's a heap of options and a heap of preferences in there that can get you set up so that you can start using Reflector 3 to reflect. And whether you're recording, whether you're streaming, or whether you just want to show your small device on a larger screen on your PC or your Mac, Reflector 3 is pretty darn good.